right. Hey guys, welcome to this MX strafing vid that I have been postponing for quite some time now, but I finally managed to find the time to finish it. So what is MX strafing, right? You guys are here for this movement tech that I just posted on my YouTube, right? It's on your recommendation or whatever reason you found this video from, maybe from a friend or whatever. So before we start with the video, I want to give an example on what became of MX strafing from Neo strafing. Let's go. What the? Booty shit. Now nah, that guy was on some shit. This is Neo strafing, or how I would much rather call it, meme strafing. It's currently stirring up the movement community a bit, and I would like to shine a light on how it came to be, why it's not new, and why the whole shit show around it right now is a bit unnecessary. Alright, there you have it. That was Neil Strafing. If you guys want to see more in depth on what Neil Strafing is, I recommend you checking out his YouTube channel. Really crack at the movement. Now, there's also another misconception that people have about MX Strafing or Max Strafing is that it's basically Asian Tap Strafing. And that's not the case. Similar but different. Any type of Tap Strafing is basically a combination of one after another. I'll give you an example on what Asian tap strafing really is on mouse and keyboard. That's Asian tap strafing right there on mouse and keyboard. Don't worry, if you guys want to know on how to do it, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can check out his YouTube channel on how to do it. And I'll give an example right here from a famous pro player named Ross on how he incorporates the Asian tap strafing or what people call the bra strafe. Pretty cool, right? It's really a useful tap strafing technique that's best in bubble fights or behind cover to peek against the enemies real quickly. Now, I'm gonna show you guys now on how MX strafing became to be. When did it start? When I first did 1v1 with ecstasy. That's where it all started. The fear, the rage, the powerlessness. That turns good men cruel. Once upon a time, there was an average gamer that liked playing Apex, his first FPS battle royale. Then one day, he discovered finesse. Then another day, he discovered ecstasy. And he wondered, can I do a 1v1 with him? That was the question that he pondered. Then he had the courage to send a DM to Ecstasy saying, hey, would you mind doing a 1v1 with me? He said, sure. And I was like, sweet. How awesome could it be? I would have a decent chance in beating him maybe. But boy, was I wrong. The pain I felt that day was not describable. Something inside me broke. My confidence that I believed that I had decent aim, decent movement in Apex, and that I had a chance in beating him 1v1 was like this. As I laid in the ground in defeat, Ecstasy walked away into the sunset, heading straight to the ocean, getting ready to surf. But I was speechless. I was thinking, how could I beat him? How could I improve? Then something inside me awakened. 
After facing defeat, I began doing research into physics, finding any way that I can prove my motion of movement. With every action, there's an opposite reaction to it, so I knew that I must find a way to improve my movement. I spent hours doing calculations and looking into the factors of velocity, the air resistance, the gravity, the vectors of point A to point B, the Pythagorean theorem, any calculations in order to be ecstasy in our next one we want encounter should it arise one day. And then finally, the outcome came out, MX draping. Here are some other examples where you can use MX strafing for your movement, such as the bunny hopping circular motion, the wall jump circular motion. Keep in mind, you need momentum whenever you use MX strafing. This isn't like Neo strafing where you can just press one button and it does the full movement at full speed. No, because MX strafing does not use any config files for the tap strafing. It's all possible through Steam. And if this video does well, then I'll post a tutorial on how to set it up on Steam. Hope you guys enjoy this unique origin um, video about MX Rafing. So, see you guys and hope to see you soon.